and a very warm welcome to Swedish Racing. I'm Annette Lennon. We're here at Axa Valla today. We've got a turnover of 11.9, a million lovely dollars up for grabs. The favourite number six, Alina's Boy, is out in front as they whiz on down to the bottom bend. In the pocket, we have Jonathan Palema and uh, going down the inside as well as number one, Ragamuff. And Jonathan Palema's just pulled off the pocket position, uh, but Johnny Tactor and Lena's Bay still are holding on. Out wide comes number two. That's global satisfaction. A horse has been off the track exactly one year nearly to the day and he is whizzing home but it's not enough for global satisfaction because Linus Bay the favorite wins Johnny Tactor odds 2.53 we're off and running at $15 second leg Melby Euphoria is the favourite and is out in front and look at this though they're really coming thick and fast to come and challenge our favourite so Melby Euphoria out in front and I'd say at this stage John McConty is beginning to think it's a long long way up the straight to the finishing line and uh, number one Canary comes out to the pocket number four is uh, Colour of Love Chanty E now bursts through there between horses and it's going to be a wall of horses crossing the line but it goes to number six it's Chanty E and Calio and Jeff and the odds are 16 or 6 19 the value now shoots up to 49 dollars this is the third leg and global undecided ended up being scratched at the very last second and uh, we've got number one urn and burn who's out in front number 11 arsenal comes up on the outside back in behind is number nine that's frisco runner and the favorite number eight uh, inherited favoritism was third last coming off the bend puts in no appearance at all what a battle up the front end though between urn and burn but number 11 and Arsenal and Peter Untersteiner take the spoils there at odds of 394 and the value is now 85 that's the third leg, folks. The fourth leg now, and uh, the favourite Wingate Eric is currently being forced out to go out very, very wide there off the bend in the pink and black colours. But at this stage, number five, it's Jordan Lee, who shows the way up the straight. In the pocket is flashing victory. Suddenly gets a, a gap there and pounces, and it's still number five, Jordan Lee, but it's going to be made work hard for it because number four, flashing victory, is flashing up 14, is crazy uh, foot mambos on the inside, but that was tight to the line. Jordan Lee holds on for Matthias Hansen. The odds were 803 and the value now shoots again to $760. That was the apprentice driver's race. This is our fifth leg. The favourite is number four, Sam Buka Knight. And that's him going out like a light back in the inside there. And uh, he just fades away. And now it was number seven, Rafiki Free, who kicked away. But number two, Mr. Perfect comes and swoops, having been given the perfect drive by Kevin Oskerson. Coming home strongly is Conte de Pomo. Uh, number two, Mr. Perfect, though, comes home there and wins it beautifully for Kevin Oscarson. The odds are huge, 16-12, and now life gets interesting. $10,838 and just two more legs to go. And here we go in this, our penultimate leg, number four, uh, number 13, Southwind Feji is the biggest favourite of the day. She has been unbeaten, and as it gets gloomy down there, piercing the gloom on the widest outside, on the left-hand side, there she goes. Southwind Feji and she sprints away from a field of lovely fillies and there's only one horse on the uh, well in the race and it was Southwind Feji huge favourite there Mikkel J Anderson reunited with his with his darling and the odds were 133 the value is now 11,762 Southwind Feji unbeaten now in seven starts this is the last leg and uh, the favourite went missing from the start somewhere in the fog and it's number seven always on time there and you'll soon see them as they pierce the gloom coming off this bottom bend. It's always on time, still out in front. In the pocket is Mr. Creation. Portos race number six is on the premises. Orion Shieldstrom in the white and turquoise with uh, Reverend Wine is coming as his actual star. And you can just see here, Tactor's forced to pull it out of the fire and he bookends the B75 with always on time and the odds there for 86. There you have it, folks. If you had all seven correct today, the payout was $37,333. Six correct, 127 and five correct, $8. So that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed it, and I do hope you can come back next week. It's at headquarters. The V75 will be at Silvana.